welcome back to my channel today I am making Christmas Ray Dunn inspired flower sock, sack towels so I am just gonna make two different towels and I am going to upload an image from here so I'm gonna to go to upload images in browse and I found this file a while back so I actually don't remember where I found it I'll try to find it though so I can link it down below and I'm gonna do this one here so I'm going to select it and then it takes a while for mine to load. I'm going to hit complex and then click continue and then I'll hit continue again. And over here this is a print thin cut image and we want to cut this image out so we are going to select this one and I'm going to change it to red truck Christmas tree and then I'm just going to select save and then I'm going to select it and upload this or insert this image and then I'm just going to make it smaller for now so with this SVG I cannot ungroup it so it just has one layer and I want to make the truck red and I want to make the tree green so an easy way to do this is I'm going to duplicate this and actually I'm going to duplicate it twice so I can look off of it. Okay, so I'm just going to set that to the side and then what I want to do is I'm going to select one of the images and click contour and then first I'm going to get rid of all of the images of the truck so I'm just going to select everything here. So I have all of the images of the truck highlighted and the rest of these images are the tree. So now when I click to the side, you can see I just have the tree left over and then now I'm going to select this other image and hit contour and then this time I'm just going to hide all of the tree images. So I'm just going to scroll to the bottom and then I will just select every piece that goes with the Christmas tree. Okay, so now I'm just going to, you can hit the X also, click out of this. And then now I have my tree and my, or my Christmas tree and my truck separated. So now I want to make my truck red. So I'll select on the layer, the truck layer, and select red. And then I want to make my tree green. Okay, so that's how you do the different colors. Now the next thing, I just want to make it look like this image and that's why I made another duplicate of it so I can just kind of compare it. So I'm just going to try to match it up with that one. And then now I'm going to add some text and I'm going to write Merry Christmas underneath the truck. So I'll go to text. I want to use the skinny. I use this font for all of my Ray Dunn projects and you can download this off of defont.com and I'm going to type in Merry Christmas okay and then the next thing that I like to do is I like to bring the letters a little closer together I think it looks a little bit more like the Ray Dunn font when you do that okay so that looks good okay so that's what I want for this image and I am going to size this at maybe like 4.75 for the width okay so that is one of my towels the next one I am just going to make it really easy and just do some text I'm gonna type in jingle all the ray and I thought that was really cute and then I'm going to align and hit center 
And then this one, I want to make the width three inches. And then another thing that I want to do is bring the words closer together. So I'm going to do line spacing and then that brings it a little bit closer together. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to make these red. So I'm just going to switch it to red. And I want to attach this one. I'm going to try attaching it. And then for these, I'm not going to attach it. So what I'm going to do is click make it. Now we have all of our different colors that we're going to be printing off. And you want to go through and click mirror on all of these since this is an iron on project. So I'm going to select each one and select mirror. And then I'll select mirror on this one as well. And you can see that it's going to print the black vinyl first. So the first thing that I will do is put my black iron on vinyl down and then I'll just go from there. So now I'm going to click continue. And it's just reminding me to mirror everything. And then it's also reminding me to put the shiny side down on the map. And then now I'll just show you on my Cricut machine how I cut all of these and make this. The iron-on vinyl that I'm using is Scissor Easy Weed, and I set it shiny side down and load my different color vinyl into my machine for it to cut out my designs. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I post more pictures, videos, and tips on there. My Instagram account is Kayla's Cricut Creations as well, and I will link it in the description box below. Now that all of my designs are cut, I weed out my vinyl, and I think I've mentioned this before on my channel, but I really love weeding. Um, it's probably one of my favorite things to do, unless I accidentally weed out part of my design, then it becomes very stressful, but comment below if you love or dislike weeding. I usually do my iron-on projects on my wood floor in my kitchen. I found that it's easiest to just use that hard flat surface, but I would like to find a table or something to put in my craft room to use my easy press on. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions on a good setup for easy press projects. I bought these flower sack towels at Walmart and these are perfect for the farmhouse look. And I first start off by folding the towel in half then I fold about a quarter of the towel over and then I just fold the rest of the towel over that. And these were so wrinkled so while my easy press was heating up I went over the towel to flatten it out a little bit. have my easy press set to 305 for 15 seconds which was the recommendations for the scissor easy weed that I bought. I go over the towel again I just want to make sure I get all of the moisture out of it this helps the vinyl adhere better and last longer. I place my designs how I like it and then I use the easy press on each one separately for about five seconds each and then I do a final press for the time recommended. 
The reason why I'm doing it this way is, is because the carrier sheet will sometimes get in the way and mess up the design. And I'm using parchment paper to protect the rest of the surface while I'm using the Easy Press. I absolutely love the Red Trek Christmas tree in Ray Dunn font. This is perfect for the farmhouse Christmas decor, which is the way that I decorate my house. Next, I make my other towel. I already have it all prepped and ready and set the Easy Press over my design and make this towel as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new. It is completely free and hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos and I will see you in my next video.